doctrine of God. The attributes of God. We're speaking about his characteristics. Who is he really? I think that you will agree with this statement. There is nothing more important than knowing God. But we must know Him according to the Scriptures. Only the Scriptures give us an infallible word about God. And so when we want to know about God, we go to God's book. But when we go to his book, we must be careful. We must interpret it correctly. I cannot just look at this and find something that I want. And reject what I do not want. I should never seek to make a God in my own image. But I should receive everything the scriptures tell me about him. Now, before we begin our study, let me say one other thing. I've already said that the scriptures are the revelation of God. But the scriptures also tell us about the greatest revelation of God. And who is that? His son, Jesus Christ. If you want to know about God, you want to know who He is, then you look to Jesus Christ. Because He is the greatest revelation of God. He is the Son of God who existed throughout all of eternity. He is one member of the Trinity. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They have existed together as one throughout all of eternity. When God made the world, it's not because He needed something. Because He had His Son. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit dwelt together in perfect harmony. And with a perfect love. Complete and without any need. So why did God make the world? Not out of need. But out of his super abundance. And out of his desire to reveal himself to others. And out of his desire to glorify his son. Now we look at the world today and we see a lot of problems. Why? If God made the world good, why is the world filled with problems? Well, really, man only has one problem. And that is sin. The Bible teaches that every one of us is now born fallen. That we are born with sinful natures. And we practice sin. We are not sinners because we sin. But we sin because we are sinners by nature. So I said man has a problem. It's sin. But that word can be divided up into two things. 
One problem of sin is this. Because of sin, we're condemned by God. The other problem with sin is that we can't change. We cannot change. So what do we do? There's nothing we can do. But God has done something. Because God is holy and just, He must condemn man. But in His love, God has done something to save man. God's son became a man. He lived on this earth and lived a perfect life. Never once did he sin. Never once did he rebel. He always loved his father with all his heart, soul, mind, and strength. But then according to the plan of God, he went to a cross. And on that cross, he died. He was killed. But what does that mean? See, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And death is not just physical death. But it's separation from God. And being under the wrath or punishment of a holy God. In order to save us from God's justice, the demands of justice had to be satisfied. And that's what Christ did on the cross. On the cross, the sins of God's people were imputed to Jesus. He carried our sin. And then all the wrath of God that we deserve fell upon him. In Isaiah 53, it says it pleased the Lord to crush him. Justice demanded our death. Crushed under the wrath of God throughout all eternity. But on the cross, Christ carried our sin. And all the punishment of a just God fell upon him. Right before he died, he cried out, It is finished. Paid in full. With his suffering and death, 接着他的死, under the wrath of God, he satisfied the demands of God's justice against us. And now God can pardon men. While at the same time maintaining his justice. What do you think about a judge who just forgives criminals? You call him corrupt. And he, and he is. So here's the question. How can God forgive criminals? And still be just? How can God forgive men? And still be a holy and righteous God. He can do it this way. Because he punished our sin in his son. Our crimes have been paid for. 
And now God is just and the justifier. So, of those who believe in his son. Now, how do we know? That if we believe in his son, our sins are atoned for. Because on the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead. And, and that is the evidence that he accepted Christ's payment for our sin. And so we trust in Christ who died. So we trust in Christ who And rose again. And sits at the right hand of the Father. He is King of Kings. Lord of Lords. And there is no other name. In heaven or earth. By which anyone can be saved. Except through faith in Jesus Christ. Your good works. They cannot save you. Your church. Cannot save you. It is faith alone in Christ. The Christian is able to say the following words. If I died right now, I would go to heaven. For only one reason. 2,000 years ago, the Son of God died for me. Now you say, well, does the Christian then believe in Jesus and live like the devil? Absolutely not. Why? Remember I said we had two problems. The condemnation of sin. But also the power of sin. The moment we believe in Jesus, the condemnation of sin is gone. We are declared righteous before God. But what about the power of sin? Well, the one who believes has been regenerated by the Holy Spirit. He's become a new creature. He has new affections. And those affections drive him to do the will of God. Does that mean that the Christian is perfect and without sin? His legal standing before God is perfect and without sin. But in this life, even, even though the Christian has been changed, and even though the Christian is still changing, he will not be perfect until he steps over into glory. And yet in the Bible, the Bible never allows us to use that as an excuse. We now have power to say no to sin and to live in a way that glorifies God. How do we do that? Through the following things. First of all, the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit. He gave us a new heart. Secondly, the providence of God. If you are truly a Christian, you are a child of God. He now has rule over you. And he who began a good work will complete it. But what must we do to grow? There are many things in the Bible, but I just want to give you a few. 
starts off with renewing our mind in the Word of God. 首先，我们要借着神的话语更新我们的心灵。If you ha- if you hear of any Christianity that bypasses the Bible, it's not Christianity. 如果你听到任何所谓的基督教却不不不在乎圣经、忽略圣经的话，那不是真正的基督教。If you're with any preacher who despises the worth of the Scriptures, 如果你跟任何传道人他藐视圣经的价值的话。You need to get away from him. You, you 要远远离开这样的传道人 Because our transformation, 因为我们的更新，我们的改变 our ability to please God, 我们能够讨神喜悦的能力 depends upon our knowledge of who God is. 都在乎我们对神的认识 and God's will. 我们也在乎对神的旨意的认识 Another means is prayer. 好，另外一个方式是借着祷告 crying out to God. You have not because you ask not. You 得不着，因为你们不求。Now here in America, now. 现在在美国啊。And also in China. 而且在中国也是。There are a lot of preachers who tell you to cry out to God. 有很多传道人叫你祷告，向神呼求。So that he'll give you a car. 他就可以给你一部新车。And a fine home. 给你一个房子。And clothes. 嗯，漂亮的衣服。And power. 给你能力。Those are little things. 那些都是小事儿。God does meet our needs. 当然，神也满足我们的需要。And He does answer prayer when we have needs. 当我们有需要的时候，他也的确回应我们的祷告。But the thing that we cry out for， 但是我们所呼求的、所要的 ，is the purpose for which He saved us. 那是神拯救我们的目的。That we would be more like Christ. 就是我们会越来越效法基督。That, that we would reflect his character. We would reflect his character. These are the precious things. These are the precious things. And nothing else really matters. 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 If through poverty we can be made like Jesus, praise the Lord. 如果借着贫穷我们可以越来越像主，感谢主。Because what really matters, 因为最重要的 is to be like Him. 就是越来越像他。That's that's Christianity. 这才是真正的基督教。You know, I've been a Christian for thirty years. 你知道我信主了三十年了。And you know what? All my problems can be traced back to. 你知道所有我的问题都可以归根于什么呢？ I'm not like Jesus. 追根究底就是我不像基督。You know what I want? 你知道我所渴望的是什么 ？To be like Jesus. 越来越像基督。You know what my wife needs more than anything? 你知道我太太最需要的是什么 ？For her, for her husband to be more like Jesus. 就是让她的老公越来越像基督。Do you know what my children need? 你知道我的儿女所需要的是什么？ For their dad to be more like Jesus. 就是他们的爸爸越来越像基督。Do you know what my church needs? 你知道我的教会需要什么 ？For me to be a better preacher. 让我让我成为一个更好传道人吗 ？Well, that's true. 是没错。But more than that, that I be like Jesus. 但是更重要的是，我越来越像基督。If you're truly a Christian, 如果你真是个基督徒 ，the one thing you're going to ask him. 你要向他所求的那唯一的最重要的一件事。The one thing you're going to ask yourself. 而且你要求自己最好，为自己求的。How then shall I live? 就是我该怎么生活。How shall I live? 我我当如何生活 ？Christianity doesn't spread because it has really good advertising and marketing. 基督教的传播不是因为它的市场经济啊，或者市场效应，或者它的广告做得好，不是。Christianity doesn't spread because of big crusades. 基督教传播不是因为有很大的聚会啊，那不是。Christianity spreads through the transformation of Christ's church. 基督教传播是因为教会基督徒生命的改变而传播的。And what is the greatest way for us to be transformed? 我们如何才能够改变最好的方法呢？是什么呢 ？Well, I can tell you the greatest way. 我可以告诉你。And I can tell you the foundation of all transformation. 我可以告诉你一切更新改变的基础是什么 ？It is the knowledge of God. 就是认识神的知识。Who is God? 神是谁呢？ Now, that's where we're going to start our study. 这就是我们要开始我们的研究。The knowledge of God, 认识神 
And the first thing I want you to see is that it is the greatest of all knowledge. 首先我要你看到就是认识神的知识是世上最伟大的、最重要的知识。If someone asks me, where do I begin studying about Christianity? 有如果有人问我，我从哪里开始研究基督教呢？从哪开始 ？I'm going to say you begin with the study of the Christian God. 我会告诉你，起点就是你要研究基督教的神。Who is he? 到底神是谁 ？Why is the church so weak today? 为什么今天教会这么软弱无力？ It knows so little about who God is. Because it knows so little about who God is. Why are we not afraid of sin? 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 Why are we Let me just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Sometimes when I'm around、uh, guys who've just graduated from seminary or Bible college, 有时候我跟那些神学院刚刚毕业的这些年轻人在一块儿 I'll ask them this question. 我就问他们这个问题 Did you go to Bible college? 呃，你你上了神学院没有 Yes. 是啊，我我受了培训啊。Did you go to seminary for your master's degree? 你是不是上神学去拿到神学硕士、博士学位啊 ？Many of them say yes. 有些说是。Did you go all the way and get your PhD? 你有没有研究拿到神学博士学位啊 ？They'll say yes, I did. 但是我我拿到博士学位。And I say, well, congratulations. 我说恭喜恭喜。Well, let me ask you a question. 好，让我问你个问题。Before you went to Bible college, 你上神学院之前。How many years did you dedicate to studying the attributes of God? You 花了多少年的功夫来研究神的属性呢 ？And most say, "Well, I I didn't." 大多数会回答我没有花任何时间。All right. Well, how many sermons did you hear preached on the attributes of God? 你听到多少有关神的属性的信息呢？ I don't remember my pastor hardly ever preaching on the attributes of God. 我不记得我的牧师讲过这个题目。Well, your four years in Bible college. 那你在神学院四年的光阴。How many of those four years did you study who is God? 多少光阴你花在呃研究神的属性，到底神是谁上 ？And they say, well, I had one semester of systematic theology. 他说我有一一一一一一一季节里头系统神学里头学习了。And、um, And we studied the attributes of God for a couple of weeks. 我们学了几个礼拜有关神的属性的问题。Okay, well, when you went to seminary, 那当你上神学院了 ，three years， 三年。How many years were dedicated to studying who is God? 你花了多少年的功夫来研究到底神是谁呢 ？Say,、so, well, we studied methods of evangelism. 呃，我们学习了布道学、布道法 ，or how to grow a church， 或者教会增长学。Okay, well, you got your PhD, right? 啊，好，你现在有了你的呃博士学位了，对不对 ？How much time did you dedicate to studying the attributes of God? 你花多少时间来研究神的属性？ Well, I didn't. 呃，我没没花多少时间呢。That isn't what I was studying. 呃，我我这是不是我神学神学的目的啊 ？Okay, well, you're a pastor now. 好，现在你是个牧师了。And you've been pastoring for is it five years? 你你牧会五年了是吧 ？How many of those years did you teach on the attributes of God? 你教导多少有关神的属性的信息？ Well, I haven't got around to doing that yet. 呃，我还没有时间去去去多研究，多讲。Are you beginning to see the problem? 你看到问题所在吗 ？Christianity is about God. 基督教就是有关基督，有关神呐、啊。And yet, hardly is God considered or studied. 但是我们几乎不花任何时间来研究神。It's just assumed that we know who he is. 我们以为理所当然，我们知道他是谁了。Yet even preachers spend so little time getting to know him. 甚至传道人几乎不花时间来认识神。Do you see how dangerous that is? 你看到这个问题的危险性吗 ？Just think about it. 你想想。I can say that I am a mechanical engineer. 我可以说我是一个电气工程师。But I've never studied engineering. 但是我从来不研究电气工程。Or I'm a football player. 或者我是一个呃这个美国橄榄球的运动员
who knows nothing about football. 那是我对美国橄榄球无所认识。Or I'm a lion tamer. 呃、uh, ，I tame lions. 哦，或者我是一个一个驯狮狮驯狮子的人。But I've never studied it. I've never studied how to do it. 但是我从来没有去学习怎么驯狮子。And I've never gotten in a cage with a lion. 我从来没有进到笼子里跟一只狮子在一块儿。But I'm going to do that now. 但我现在要去训狮了。That would be very dangerous. 这这非常危险，对不对 ？Well, what's more dangerous? 还有什么更危险呢 ？To be a Christian. 成为基督徒。And not really know who God is. 却不认识神是谁。I want us to go now to Jeremiah chapter nine. 好，我们翻到耶利米书第九章。Verse twenty-three and twenty-four. 二十三到二十四节 I'm going to read it in English, and then we can also read it in Chinese. 好，我们我们先读英文，然后再读中文 Jeremiah nine twenty-three. 好，耶利米书九章二三节 Thus says the Lord: Let not a might a wise man boast of his wisdom, and let not a mighty man boast of his might. Let not a rich man boast of his riches. But let him who boasts boast of this: that he understands and knows me; that I am the Lord who exercises loving kindness, justice, and righteousness on the earth. For I delight in these things, declares the Lord. 我们一起读。耶和华如此说：智慧人不要因他的智慧夸口，勇士不要因他的勇力夸口，财主不要因他的财物夸口。夸口的，却因他有聪明，认识我是耶和华，又知道我喜悦在世上施行慈爱、公平和公义，以此夸口。这是耶和华说的。Now, if we've read this correctly, 如果我们正确的明白这段经文 ，the one truth that ought to stand out is this. 那最叫人注意的真理应该是 ：There is no knowledge greater than the knowledge of who God is. 世上除了认识神的知识，没有更大的智慧和知识了。It's the most important knowledge there is. 这是世上最重要的知识。Now let's look at the text. 我们看看这段经文。First of all, it says, "Thus says the Lord." 哦，首先这说，耶和华如此说。The way I want to illustrate it is this way. Ah, 我要这样子来解释啊。It's like you have a whole bunch of people in a room. 就像你在一个房间里头有一大堆人。And they're all giving their opinion about who God is. 他们都在表达、发表自己的意见，到底神是谁 ？They're saying things like this. 他们有的人说。Well, I think God is this way. Ah, 我认为神是这个样的。Another one says, "Well, no, I think He's this way." 另外一个说，我认为是那样的。Another one says, "Well, in my opinion, He's like this." 还有一个说，在我的印象中应该是这样的。And then all of a sudden, 突然之间 ，God walks in the room. 神进到房间来。All the discussion ceases. 好，所有的讨论都停止了。Everybody else is quiet. 大家都闭口无声了。Our opinions no longer matter. 我们的意见不重要。It says, "Thus says the Lord." 耶和华如此说。It's like the Lord is coming down and saying, "This is who I am." 就像主自己来到我们当中说，我就是这样的。And it's not just my opinion. 不是我们的意见。I know me. 我认识我自己。I know who I am. 我知道我是谁。So sit down. 所以坐下来。Close your mouth. And listen, 听我的话 It says, "Let not a wise man boast of his wisdom." 他说，智慧人不要因他的智慧夸口 Now, wisdom isn't bad. 有智慧不是不好啊 It is a virtue. 智慧是一个美德 It is something we should possess. 我们应该拥有智慧啊 And it's important to have wisdom in every walk of life. 我们在任何的社会阶层都应该有智慧，运用智慧啊。I was raised on a a ranch where we raised horses. 我在一个啊、呃、一个一个啊、呃、牲畜牲畜的农场上长大。And I knew some men who were very wise with horses. 我知道有一些人对马很有智慧，很认识。And they made a lot of money. 他们也赚了很多钱。I know people who are very wise in mathematics. 我也知道有些人对数学精通。I know a lot of people who are wise in business. 还有些人对做做做生意很精通
有智慧。I know a lot of people who are wise about a lot of things. 我知道很多人对很多世上的事物都有智慧，有聪明。But God says, don't boast in it. 但是神说，哎，别夸口。Because all that wisdom is not the most important thing. 因为你在那些世上的智慧、聪明不是最重要的。Men a lot of times take a lot of pride in their wisdom. 有些人，很多人因着他们自己在在这些世上有智慧，非常的骄傲。God says, "Do not boast in wisdom." 神说，别夸口你的智慧。It's not the highest knowledge. 那不是最高的智慧。And then it says here, "And let not the mighty man boast of his might." 好，继续说，勇士不要因他的勇力夸口。We see men here in California, don't we? 我我们看到有些人在加州啊。Walking around with big muscles everywhere. 啊，带着很大的肌肉到处跑。And they fight and they lift weights. 他们有举重啊，对，打打拳呐。Or we see very wealthy men that are very powerful. 我们看到一些很有钱的人，他们很有权力。Or we see politicians who have great power. 我们看一些政客、政治家有很大的权力。God says it's nothing. 神说这算不得什么。Don't boast in your strength. 别夸口，因你的勇力夸口。Don't boast in your power. 不要因着你的权力夸口。It's nothing. 那算不得什么。Then he goes on. He continues. Let not a rich man boast of his riches. 财主不要因他的财物夸口。We see this a lot, don't we? 我们看到这样的事很多，对不对 ？Because with money comes power. 因为有钱就有权。And men who have made a lot of money think that they are wise. 那些赚了很多钱的人就自以为很聪明，很智慧。But God says, "Don't boast in your wealth." 神说，你不要因你的财物夸口。Don't boast in any of it. 不要因此夸口。Because the greatest wisdom of man, 因为人的最大的智慧 is foolishness to God. 在神眼里不过是愚拙。And the strength of men, 人的能力。You take the strongest muscle man on this planet. 你把这个全世界肌肉最大的人带来。And a little worm can get in his body. 一条小小的虫子可以进到他身子里。A little bacteria that you can't even see. 你根本看不到那个小小的细菌。And he dies in less than twenty-four hours. 他二十四小时就死掉了，一个小小细菌。And if all the men together got together with a great army, 如果所有的人类哇，所有的军队都聚集在一块儿。And all the demons of hell join them. 而且所有的这些撒旦魔鬼都跟他一起同心合意。And they came against God. 他们来跟神对抗的话 ，You know what it would be like? 你知道像什么吗 ？A little tiny fly. 就像一个小小的我苍蝇。Hitting its head against a piece of granite as big as the world. 像一个像世界地球那么大的一个花岗岩，对抗一样。小小苍蝇 ，Don't boast in it. 你不要夸口。And your wealth, 你的财物。If you're the richest man in the world, 如果你是世上最有钱的人 ，You will die. 你还是要死的。And your wealth will go to someone else who did not earn it. 你的财物会落到一个没有下功夫赚钱的人的口袋里头。If we should not boast in these things, 如果我们不应该因这些事物而夸口的话 ，Then in what should we boast? 那么到底我们应该？因什么夸口呢 ？Verse twenty-four, 二十四节。Let him who boasts boast of this, that he understands and knows me. 夸口的却因他有聪明，认识我是耶和华。Now I want you to look at two things here. 好，这里我要你看两件事。Understand God. 你要认识神。And know God. 知道神。Now, there's probably not a great distinction being made between the two words. 认识神跟知道神这两个字当中，也许没有很大的差别啊。A lot of times in the Hebrew Bible, 往往在希伯来的圣经里 ，the writer just puts one term upon another in order to make emphasis. 这个作者呢，用很多不同的词，为了要强调他的话。But there can, I believe, make be some distinction here. 但这里呢，我相信认识跟知道有一点点的差别啊。Understanding refers to understanding who God is. 这里认识啊，认识讲到是明白到底神是谁。Understanding He's holy. 认识他是圣洁的。And how do we live with understanding in light of His holiness? 因着他的圣洁，我们当如何生活呢？ Understanding God is just. 也认识他是公义的。And then understanding how to live in light of that. 因着他的公义，我们当怎样生活呢？要明白。So it's 
understanding who God is. 就是认识神是谁。And how do we do that? 我们该怎么怎么样认识他呢 ？From the scriptures. 借着圣经啊。But then the word know. 哦，还有一个字就是知道。Here it could mean basically the same thing. 啊，这里可以基本上同样的意思。But the word commonly refers to an intimate knowledge. Oh, 但这里的知道啊，一般情况下指的是一个很亲密的认识关系。Not, it's not just that you know a lot of facts about God. 不仅仅是知道一些有关神的知识而已，泛泛而知。But you know Him in a personal relationship. 乃是跟神建立一个关系，真正的知道他、认识他、亲密的关系。And knowing him that way， 这样的认识他 ，is absolutely essential， 是绝对需要的、必须的。Let me give you an example。让我给你举个例子。You could go to any doctor， 你可以到任何的医生那儿去。And he knows, he understands more about my wife than I do. From 一个角度啊，他比我认识我太太认识的多得多，他知道的多得多。He understands how her hair grows. 他知道她她头发怎么长出来的。How her heart beats. 她的心脏怎么跳的，对不对 ？How her kidneys work. 她的这个这个肝脏、心脏、这个肾脏怎么样子工作的。He understands that. He 明白这些道理，对。But he doesn't know my wife. 但是他不真正认识、知道我妻子。He's not friends with my wife. 因为他不是我我妻子的朋友。He doesn't have a relationship with my wife. 他跟我妻子没有那个关系，我有的关系。You see, you could be someone who knows all about the facts about God. 这你可以知道很多很多有关神的知识，泛泛而知而已。But you don't know God. 但你不真正的知道他，认识他，这是很危险的事儿。Yet at the same time, 但是同时呢 ，if you do have a personal relationship with God, 如果你跟神真正有一个关系的话 ，you will want to know Him. 你会越来越想认识、知道他。I like to watch science programs. 我喜欢看一些有关科学的一些节目 ，especially about astronomy. 特别是有关天文学的。I love to see all the marvels of creation. 我喜欢观察这创造的奇妙。Wouldn't it be amazing if you possessed all the knowledge of how the universe is? 如果你能够明白这宇宙的奥秘，你知道这些知识，这这不是很很妙的事儿吗 ？The things that you would know would be so exciting. 你所知道的事情会叫你非常兴奋。But they would be nothing compared to the knowledge of God. 比起认识上帝的知识，那是小巫见大巫，根本算不得什么。Even when we're in heaven for a thousand eternities, 就算我们在天堂有一千个永恒住在天堂之后 ，we will not even begin to understand who God is. 我们还没有开始知道。We will not exhaust all his marvelous ways. 我们不可能完全认识到他的奇妙的作为，太伟大了。Or his marvelous attributes. 或者他奇妙的属性。Now another thing about knowing God. 另外一件有关认识神的事。If I go up to the White House. 如果我到白宫去啊。To the gate. 到了门口。And I start shaking it. 我开始就敲门了。What's going to happen? 会发生什么事儿 ？Police are going to come. 警察就来了。Airplanes, helicopters, 直升机啊，飞机啊，都来了。They're going to say, "What are you doing?" 你干啥你 ？And I say, "Oh, don't worry." 嗯，别别别别担心啊，我。I I know Barack Obama. 我我我认识奥巴马。They're going to go, "You're crazy." 你疯了你。And you're not getting in. 你不准进去。But 但是。If Barack Obama walks out of the White House, 如果奥巴马从白宫出来 ，and he says, "Hey, Paul, hey, 保罗华许 ，Come on in, 进来，进来，进来，我认得你 ，I'm going in, 我就进去了 ，I'm going in, 我就进去了。Now there are historians, 有很多的历史学家 ，and political scientists 和呃这些呃政治政治科学家等等 ，who know more about Barack Obama than I do." But if he knows me, 但如果他认识我的话 ，and I know him， 我认识他，也认识他的话 ，as friends， 我们是朋友的话 ，I'm going in， 我就可以进去，对不对 ？Do you see that？ 看到吗 
So to know him. Now let's go on. 好，所以知道他，认识他。我们继续。Verse twenty-four. 二十四节 But let him who boasts boast of this, that he understands and knows me. 好，夸口的却因他有聪明，认识我是耶和华。Let's. I, I got to stop there again. 好，我我必须停下来啊。There's probably a lot of students out here. 这里可能有很多学生，对不对 ？And you're all really smart. 你们都很聪明啊。You may know all kinds of things. 你可能知道很多的知识，这个学科那个学科。But think if you knew absolutely everything. 哦，就就想象啊，你什么都知道。But you didn't know who made you. 你却不知道谁创造了你的话。You didn't know the one who rules the universe. 你不认识那位。主宰万有宇宙的这位上帝的话。You didn't know the only one who could save you. 你不认识这位唯一能够拯救你的这一位的话。Now would that not be tragic? 那不是很可悲吗 ？Then he says that I am the Lord. 他说要认识我是耶和华。I am the Lord. 我是耶和华，我是主。What does that communicate to us? 这个对我们有什么意义呢？ Not only does it mean that he's the creator of the universe. 这不仅仅意味着他是宇宙的创造主 ，but he's the Lord of the universe. 他更是这世界的主宰。Think about that. 你想想 ，and as a Lord, he has commands and rules and a will. 身为一位主，他可以主宰，可以掌握，可以掌控一切。This world is his. 这世界是属他的。He rules over it. He rules over it. He has given this world certain commands. 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 You could be worshiping God. You 可以一方面敬拜神 ，according to what's right in your own eyes， 按着你自己的，在你的眼中，按着你的意思来敬拜他。And yet breaking every one of His commands with your worship， 同时借着你的敬拜，你在违背他一切的吩咐。That's dangerous. 这是很危险的事儿。He's the Lord. He has a kingdom. He has a will. He has revealed. 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 He has Isn't it a comfort to you? This for you is not a comfort. This 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 is not If God had been loving, 如果神仅仅是慈爱的 ，and not just， 却不公义的话 ，not holy， 他不圣洁的话 ，not righteous， 不公义公平的话 ，Christ
He would have made us his friends. 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 He would have He's never against them. 也没有反对他们。He watches them lie. 嗯，看到他们撒谎欺骗。He watches them hurt people. 看他们伤害别人。He watches them do horrible, horrible things. 看他们做那些坏事儿。What would you think about him? 你会怎么想这个人呢 ？You'd say he was just as evil as they are. 你说他跟这些恶人同流合污，跟他们一样坏了。But see, God's not. 但神不是如此。He's just. 神是公义。He loves righteousness. 他喜爱公义。And although he is love, 尽管他是慈爱的 ，He will not deny his righteousness. 但是他不会否认他的公义。And he will judge the wicked. 他会审判那恶者。But he made a way for the wicked to be saved. 但同时他为那些恶人开了一条出路，可以得救。Through his son Christ. 借着他儿子耶稣基督可以得救。But if the wicked deny the son, 但如果那些恶人否定他的儿子的话。There remains for them no hope of salvation. 那这些恶人就没有得救的指望了。None, 毫无指望。Now, he says, "For I delight in these things," declares the Lord. 他说：“我知道，我喜悦这些事。” So many people. 这是耶和华说的。好。So many people will say this to me. 很多人会对我说。Especially on college campuses. 特别是在大学校园里啊。Why does God have such a problem with sin? 为什么神对罪恶这这么看不惯呢 ？Because He's good. 因为神是良善的。Because He delights in beauty. 因为他喜爱美好的事物。He delights in truth. 他喜爱真理。He delights in holiness. 他喜悦圣洁。He delights in love. 他喜悦慈爱。And sin opposes all those things. Ah, 罪恶却是跟这一切事物都是顶撞的，相反的。So look what we see here. 这里你看看。I want to point out a few things that are very important. 我要指出几件很重要的事。First, it should be obvious to us. 首先，这应该非常明显的。The the greatest knowledge we can possess is the knowledge of who God is. 就是世上最重要的知识，就是认识神的知识。And not just knowledge about a part of God. 不仅是认识神的一部分 ，but knowing everything about Him. 乃是认识神的所有。His love. 他的慈爱。His justice. 他的公平。His benevolence. 他的良善。His wrath. 和他的愤怒。His kindness. 他的慈爱、良善。His anger. 和他的。Everything about God. His anger, everything related to God. And if a preacher doesn't tell you everything about God, if a preacher doesn't tell you everything about God, then he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being deceptive. Or he's either ignorant of God, or he's being But they don't want to hear everything. 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 But they don't want to Before Bible college, hardly anyone studies the attributes of God. 上神学之前，几乎没有人研究神的属性。In Bible college, many study the attributes of God just a few weeks or months. 在神学院里头，很多仅仅学习神的属性几个礼拜或者几个月而已。In seminary, it's the same. 在高级神学院也是如此。And in the PhD, it it may even be even worse. 在神学博士班甚至更糟糕。更少人学习神的属性。So who knows about God? 那到底谁认识神，知道神呢 ？Who knows? 谁认识他呢 ？It's in the scriptures. 在圣经里。And the one thing that I want you to pull away from this lesson. 我
今天我要你真正明白的，从这这堂课明白的是。Is that the most important thing you can do as a new believer? You, 身为一个初信的基督徒，最重要的事 is to study the attributes of God. 就是研究神的属性。Now、I'll、say one last thing. 好，最后一件事。The book of Psalms. 啊、uh, ，诗篇。It's the hymn book of the Bible. 是圣经里的诗诗歌本。They're songs. 这是诗歌嘛？诗篇。Now, if you write a book on the attributes of God. You know what you're going to discover? You know what you're going to discover? That more than 50 percent of all the Bible verses you will use, 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 you will use. Is filled with some of the greatest and highest theology. 就是诗篇里头充满了最高的、最超级的神学神论。Now, if you want to write a song, 如果你要写一首诗的话 ，Or you want to choose a song to sing in the church, 或者你你要选一首诗歌在教会里唱的话 ，Shouldn't you choose a song that has the same kind of theology? 难道你不该选一首跟这个诗篇有同样的神论的？ Just because the the rhythm is really catchy, 就因为那个呃音音调子啊，非常的活泼。Doesn't mean that it's the kind of song that ought to be sung. 不见得是我们该唱的歌。But what do the words tell us about God? 关键是这个诗歌的歌词有关神的神论的方面讲的对不对 ？Let's close in prayer. 让我们祷告。Please visit our website at heartcrymissionary.com. There you will find information about the ministry, our purpose, beliefs, and methodologies, and extensive information about the missionaries we are privileged to serve.